I'm Brandi Agerbeck, and this is a graphic facilitation show and tell. If you'd like to find out more about my graphic facilitation work, please visit loosetooth.com. Today I'm going to tell you a story about how to use templates. In this case, how to use a very simple template to hold, shape, and focus a group's work. And the benefit of working spatially versus linearly. <laughs> So um, today's uh, story is about a group of 25 folks from a big giant company. And in this case, those 25 folks were revisiting their mission. And we had one point in the agenda where all 25 folks were talking about their agenda. Or, I'm sorry, talking about their uh, mission and how to refine it. So pretty uh, challenging conversation to have with that big of a group of people, but uh, thankfully we came out of it with four key components to their mission statement. They were able to, um, because they did it all in one group, they were able to have um, a shared experience creating it and more buy-in because they were all there for that discussion, and so that was great. And again, they came up with four main points. The next step in the agenda was to break out into four breakout groups. And each of those breakout groups was going to talk about one of those four components. So, so in this case, um, we decided on the spot to create a very simple template for them to work in. Generally speaking, I'm not a huge fan of templates because often um, what happens is a facilitator or somebody running an event comes up with the template before the meeting and then um, they're sort of stuck with it. Uh, it may not be the right meet the right template for that particular event and where the conversation has gone, uh, but I am a fan of creating templates on the fly and being using templates to be responsive and helping uh, people in that meeting succeed. So in this case, we created an extremely simple template and we put a banner in the center. In this case, this is where that one of those four key components was going to go. And their assignment was to come up with three things they were going to do and three things they were going to say in regards to that component of the mission statement. So in the case, the case of this template, I created um, three little check boxes of what they were going to do and three little word bubbles of what they were going to say. So when they broke up into these groups, we let them begin discussing their key part and then after they had some time to discuss it, uh, we handed out these templates. So every, each of the four teams got this same very simple template drawn up on a flip chart. Um, and the nice thing about this was that it, it showed them what they were expected to do. So it was very clear that they were, they'd make these three things and these three things as they related to this thing. Whoosh, very straightforward. Um, the really nice thing is that three out of the four groups used the template, and one out of the four groups didn't. In the case of the team that didn't, uh, what they ended up with were pages and pages of, temp of uh, flip charts filled with text. Now, when we were done with this part of the agenda and they had to go report back, the three teams that had used the template, um, so in this case they created you know, very nice short statements of these three things they were going to do and three things they were going to say. Um, those three groups who had used the template had a much easier time reporting back to the group because they uh, had very concise statements. And one thing I absolutely loved was uh, the first team that reported out, they actually used this as a working document. They weren't precious about it and they marked it up and they said, okay, we really like this idea and we really love this idea and we don't really like what's being said over here and we want to change this word over here. So they um, had a second iteration of what their work was when they reported out for, to the large group and got feedback from the large group. And the um, fourth team, which didn't use the template, unfortunately they had a little bit more difficulty reporting back to the large group because they were rereading what they had written because they hadn't synthesized it and simplified it to put it in the template. Um, and also folks at the audience were all taking the time to read every word, many were taking the time to read every word on that flip chart. So again, this is a case of using a very simple template and using a template that's more spatial than linear to help people get their work done. Um, again, what was nice was they could very clearly on the template see what they were expected to do. 
um, the shape of the template limited uh, the amount of text they could have. So they had to synthesize their ideas and come up with their concise points. Um, also, again, having the consistency of this template across each of the four groups made it very easy for them to report back to the larger group. And again, I absolutely love that they use the template and that they um, would, were more than willing to mark it up and improve on their work when they brought their work to the large group for feedback. So again, uh, this is Brandy Agerbeck, and you can see my graphic facilitation work at loosetooth.com. So thanks so much for viewing.